Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Playing Strains and Comic Books channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review Dead Romans number one. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for Dead Romans number one. It is an Image Shadowline comic, and it is by Fred Kennedy and Nick Marinkovich. And we start off with a Roman legion going up into Germany, into the deep woods of Teutoburg. And we meet one of our main characters, Honoria, as she travels up to the north to meet her love and the commander, Arminius. And apparently he loves her a lot. She is a slave of someone named Varius, but Arminius wants to free her and make her his queen. Which is definitely rushing it because he is not king yet, he is just a general in the army. And as they finish making love, he knows that where she's going to be is dangerous, so he gives her his sword to protect herself because he has to leave to go to the front lines. And it seems like his worries were very founded because once he's left, the Romans that she's traveling with does get attacked by Germans. Then we cut to Arminius, who is on the front lines, and he has heard of this attack, and he's trying to send men to go back and find Honoria and make sure she's still alive. But he doesn't have time to do that himself because he is about to fight the Germans in a large battle. But when we cut back to the scene where her carriage was, we see that it has been turned over and destroyed, along with all the horses and people that were there protecting her are dead. And that's where I'm going to stop it. I don't want to spoil anything else. So this was just a random pickup for me. I thought it sounded pretty cool. It definitely has the vibe of the movie The Gladiator to it. So if you like Roman history, this is kind of a cool book. I will say the first couple pages of this book confused me a little bit because we start off with Arminius and Honoria and we don't really have any context for them or their relationship. It just seemed like we needed to know as the reader that they are in love and Arminius is kind of a good guy because he's trying to free her from slavery and also that he has ambitions to become king one day. So it felt like we were kind of rushed at the beginning where the scene didn't really build up it just threw us into the middle of this conversation with Honoria and Arminius and I wasn't exactly sure when or where that was taking place because they would cut back and forth between him on the front lines and her in the carriage so I was kind of confused as to when they were making love as opposed to him being on the front lines and then when did she get attacked it was all a little bit muddy for me but once we got outside of that carriage and her being attacked the comic started to make a lot more sense I will say I liked the art a lot in this book. I think it's really interesting and the style kind of fits that time period. It really reminded me of Carrie Nord's style from Conan, but a little bit more chunky. But there were definitely certain scenes at the beginning when those different parts were being woven together, but I wasn't exactly sure what was going on in some of the panels. And I think mainly that was because the color palette was pretty dark in those early panels. But even with that minor critique, I thought that the art was really interesting and very cool looking. So there's a little asterisk by this comic, because if I was just going to base it on the story so far, I would give this comic a 3 out of 5. But I thought the art was so interesting that I'm going to give it a 3.5. The writing itself was fine, but the storytelling overall was a little confusing. And this is just the first issue, but not that much happens in it. But overall, I enjoyed this comic, and I think it's going to get better the further we get into this story. So if you saw anything you like, definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store, and we will see y'all in the next one.